Hey guys, Boney McBonerton here, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Actually, before we continue... Hey boss, I've been hoping you'd stop by. I found you a way into the Institute. Um... What was on the holotape? One of the things in the data you stole was a plan of the whole Institute complex. <laughs> Including the older sections that used to be part of CIT. Turns out they're still using an old water pipe that runs out to the river brings in cooling water to their reactor. Its entrance is underwater and is blocked by a security grate. Also, the whole pipe is labeled high radiation danger, but there isn't any other way in that I can find. So it's this or nothing. Hmm. Breaking through an underwater security grate in high radiation? Sounds like fun. Yeah, I know, but there isn't any other way in. I did manage to pull the code to open the grate. So all you have to do is survive the trip. Now, as soon as you get in there, you need to access the main relay control and use this holotape to teleport everybody into the Institute. You better touch base with Preston before you head out, just so he knows what's what. Well, obviously, thanks for interrupting me. As I was... Oh, God damn it! where's Nick? Look what you did, Sturgis, you sturgy little bastard. Now, where did he go? Nicholas! What's going on? Baba Booey. Oh, Nick, there you are, my man. Listen, I've thought it over, and I am moving you to home base. Okay, uh, um, apparently I can't send you there. Fuck. That's alright, because you know what we're doing today? We're going after the final settlement in the Commonwealth that we have not conquered yet. I think you know which one I'm talking about. It's finally time to go after one of my favorite DLCs in Fallout 4. The Vault Dwellers Workshop. This is an emergency broadcast signal from Vault 88. Authentication code word, impish. Vault 88 emergency classification. Unspecified integrity breach warning. Any available Vault Tech personnel are required to respond under emergency protocol VT76. Mm -hmm. This signal will repeat. Yeah, no thanks. Data. Well, that, that actually reminds me. Speaking of vaults... Let's see, lock. Master locks. Okay, that's good. Because there is something I do want to pick up. Shit, I don't think Dance is following me anymore. You know, I'll admit, that's the one thing that kind of does suck about Fallout 4. Unless you do things super precise, it's almost impossible to walk out of this with every single follower having them in good graces. For example... I accidentally did one quest, and I immediately lost Paladin Dance. You're probably thinking to yourself, Boney McBonerton, what the hell are you doing returning back to Vault 111 when you should be going to Vault 88? Well, I just realized there's a special weapon that we can actually grab. That I've been procrastinating on grabbing. Going down once again. I'm sorry, I have no clue why I did that. I'm just gonna... Ugh. Maybe I should have sealed this place up, that way my dead wife doesn't come back and try to murder me. First of all, who closed all these doors? Second of all, maybe I should visit her.
I thought I heard bugs. So this is one of the main things I came back for. Remember in the very first episode when I was like, oh yeah, we'll come back for this? That time is now. It's the legendary weapon. The unique weapon. The only kind of its own in the entire game. Bingo. The Cryolator. You're probably wondering how the hell this thing works. Well, at the moment, it's like an ice... It's like an ice thrower. It's like a flamethrower, but it freezes stuff instead of burns them alive. Ow. My feelings. But with the power modifications, we can make this thing way better than it already is. Well, hi, honey. Good news, I, um, I found our son. The bad news is he kind of grew up to be a dickhole. Also, he, I, I think he's in his 70s? I don't know, he old as shit, man. Anyways, stay on ice. Just came by to say hello, tell you how our son's doing. Love you. Mwah. Remember, kids, it's not necrophilia if you were married to her when she was alive. If it's some random stranger's body that you're goofing, then it's kind of weird. You don't assume the Brotherhood of Steel's pissed with me, are they? How do you do, fellow citizens? Damn. You... Nah, fuck off. Keep on the good work, boys. Ooh, little tray school. Checking out pickup. What? I'm sorry, what was that? I couldn't hear you the sounds of you freezing to death in a matter of seconds. No, I, I'm in power. I don't need to hide. God. Hold on, stay on ice for a sec, would you? What? Yeah, you can see why some people refer to this as a fun weapon. Okay, bye. That's it. Holy shit, I think the Brotherhood of Steel is helping us. One final... One final thank you from them.
Oh shit. That was like right at my feet. Oh my god, he was ghoulified. Yes. What the fuck is. <laughs> what? 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 My shining woman in armor, I guess. Where are you coming from? Well, you're slaying that guy, too. So good on you. Oh my god, you fucking annihilated the captain. Oh god, the Brotherhood's not gonna be happy with this. I need food. Now, where is the entrance to this place? Right, down here. Vault 88. It's Look out, it's consequences. <laughs> oh shit. I swear to God, I meant to do a bash. Let's see. I can drop a lot of this crap out here. What? You have a pit boy? Yep. Wait. Are you full tech? Have you finally come to save me? I'm um, sure. Please. I'm trapped behind a mountain of rubble. The key to freeing me is getting the workshop operational. First, lift the security lockdown and get to the reactor room. Alright. Oh, Dr. Stanislaus Braun. Terminal somewhere. <laughs> oh, 
Hello. Goodbye. Lift security lockdowns. Good. Very good. Vault Tech workshops require their control board to function. During emergencies, the procedure is to store it in the reactor room. Look in there and you should find it. Oh, Security Chief Anderson. How about an ass whooping? Ooh, and a relentless baseball bat. Stop that, you're scaring me. You know, you know what, you just... Shut down. Shut down for now. Just, just shut down. And here we have it. The workshop is enabled. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go through a lot of this stuff and scrap it off screen. But on screen, I will do the minimum stuff that we are supposed to do. Like scrapping this debris. Uh, hello there. <clears throat> you aren't what I was expecting. You do have a pit boy. You're from a vault, but you're clearly not with Waltec. What are you doing here? Why did you help me? Actually, I'm here to offer you the bargain of a lifetime. What would you say to a vintage set of encyclopedias? Act now. An encyclopedia? I... <laughs> ah, humor. I've been on my own so long, I almost didn't recognize that. Mm -hmm. My name is Valerie Barstow. And I was to be the overseer of this vault. But please, follow me. I have a proposal for you. It's been a hard 200 years. I was giving a tour of what was to be my pride and joy. My vault. Then, the earthquakes. Sirens. Many died. Perhaps they were lucky. The radiation. Somehow. I was spared. Stop, Julian. What are you doing? Julian, what are you doing? Julian! Julian, you good, my man? Oh, no! The construction crew didn't fare as well as me. They've never done anything hostile towards me, though. It's probably best if you put them out of their misery oh well can do it's gonna be easy it's better. baba booey <laughs> hello young man no 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 just close that out And we leveled up. What have we gotten for leveling up? Let's find out now. Strength is at max. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with that one. Hello, young man. God, that was embarrassing. We both whiffed pretty hard. Alright, they're all dead. I killed them all. And I'm very tired. I tried digging my way to the entrance. With that control board, I could have changed everything. But there was simply too much rubble for the equipment to handle. But my work kept me going. Here, among these papers, is my life's work. I'd like to share it with you. Aww. Dr. Braun tasked me with something vital. A series of prototypes and their related... Well, experiments. 
that could redefine society. But, as you can see, things did not go according to plan. vault -Tec Destroyed my life. <laughs> vault -Tec can burn for all I care. Oh, I... Listen, I understand that a former Vault resident could harbor certain feelings. I'll tell you what. These experiments... I will let you run them. If you find anything unconscionable, just don't do it. Or change the parameters of the experiment. I assure you these devices can make people's lives better. Just give me a chance. So these experiments can be run ethically? If you insist on hobbling the prototype's potential, yes. You could abide by as many ethical standards as you'd like. I suggest being more open-minded. But the choice will ultimately be yours. You've got a deal, Overseer. Good. Let's move forward. We cannot begin until I have my Overseer's desk to run the experiments. The information in the desk's terminal will prove vital. I entrust you with the future of our vault. Vault 88. Hmm, very fancy. All right, let's get building. Let's see, for starters, I'm gonna do that. Gonna scrap this, scrap that. Store all this shit so we can just get all the clutter off of it. Supports, that, garbage, trash, scrap. You know what, while we're at it, I'm gonna go, uh, deposit all my crap in the, um, uh, in this thing, so we're no longer over encumbered. There we go. Much better. But yet, let me move that closer to you. There. Ahem. This. Please, I beg your indulgence. I've waited so long. But we must not dally. The work compels us. The vault was supposed to have a very specific set of residents. After all, to conduct human trials, you need the perfect test subjects. I'm not gonna toy with people's lives. Think of the greater good here. But fine, you are running the experiments. If you choose a risk-free path, it will compromise the value of the research. But that's on your head. Choose wisely. Now, turn on the vault's radio beacon. Certainly people above ground would give anything to live in our vault. While we wait for word to spread, perhaps you might use this time to explore Vault 88. If you can clear some of the rubble, you may be able to access some of the other building sectors. 
Any materials or equipment that survived may prove useful in our experiments. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. All right, let me go turn that shit on. What do we not need in this room? Definitely not these lockers. Just get this place cleaned up a little bit. Just get rid of everything. Activated. Now while we wait, why are we going to explore and just scrap as much as possible? Maybe even set up some defenses. And on top of that, we get a whole quest called Explore Vault 88, where the goal is we can explore different areas and unlock the workshops there so we can actually expand our building space. Which is actually pretty fucking cool. And on top of this, they're trying to do all this without breaking the lore of the game too badly. Oh, hey again. What, have we got people already? Like, god damn. Scrap, scrap, scrapping everything in sight, because I'm a maniac who does that kind of shit. We can keep that shit around. Not, okay, fine, sure. I wanted to scrap the entire desk. Yeah, that was my intention. While we're at it, security logs, October 23rd, October 22nd, another dog and pony show, aren't so bad that you're having a friendly poker game from the way things are going, and August 29th, hmm, interesting. You know, while we're at it, I'm actually... Actually, hold on. You know what? No, I'm staying in the power armor. We are simply carrying too much around. Hmm, we could set up some proper defense while we're here. Ah, oh, we need a oil. Now, for the rest of this area, we're just going to be cleaning this whole place out. Water tower, don't care, it's gone.
For some reason... Oh, wait, we can't scrap that. Okay. Scrap that, scrap that, scrap that. Scrap this, scrap that. Super reactor core. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Get rid of this. It's all going. Yeah, why not? What the fuck? Yeah, I'm just going to store that. Whoa. Hmm, unfortunately, we still don't have a lot of people here. Actually, that's what I could do. I could go to one of my vaults and... Or, sorry, one of my settlements and just... Send a guy here and immediately use him as a provisioner. Yeah, that could work. All right. Unfortunately, this is all the time we have for this episode. So, no, no, somewhere else, somewhere. Somerville place. Well, unfortunately, this has been Boney Mc Luba. Sorry, I don't know what that was about. This has been Boney McBonerton here with Fallout Four. In the next video. We shall be going on this. Oh. Guess we got people coming. Okay, ignoring the fact that people are already getting fucking attacked. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, you, Mr. Goulahan. Sending you to. You're sending your ass to Vault 88. Got work. Work to do. Can't talk. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta move, man. Here I was thinking, I'm gonna end the episode early, but no, fucking... All the settlers that we needed already showed up to the vault. At least I assume so. Oh, come on. <clears throat> just a moment and we can begin. Please, step forward. Ah, yes. Welcome. Welcome. So, this here is a vault, right? Quite yep. correct. And you could be one of our lucky new residents. You do got food in this vault, right? Not of yet. Of course. And a chance at a new life. A question or two first, however. What do you think is the role of a good government? Government? What the hell are you talking about? It's all right. We're the good guys. Just answer the questions. Hmm, you seem... All right. Okay. From what I heard, them governments are why everything's radioactive. You won't do for our... special assignment. But welcome to our vault. Your new home. 
If she is representative of what's left above, the outside world must be rougher than I imagined. You have no Are idea. You ready for the next interview? Would it kill them to at least prepare a resume? Heck, even a cover letter would do. That would expedite the process. Well, next. Hello. Welcome to Vault 88. This is a real nice place you have here. Real nice. And I can go wherever I like, right? Within reason, yes. But I have a question for you. Sure, sure. What do you want to know? A hypothetical. Let's say the reactor core is melting down, and you're the only one who could stop it. Is there something wrong with your reactor? No, no, it's fine. Just pretend. So you can stop the meltdown. But you'd suffer from extreme radiation exposure. What would you do? Well, whatever you'd like. If you don't mind, I'm anxious to look around. Okay. Are you guys ready to hear the most weirdest voice line that you can get from the Soul Survivor? If you're thinking about ripping us off, don't. Listen, it's hell up there. If you really give me food and a place to stay, I'll be good. Just don't go expecting me to jump in a reactor for you. That was weird, right? Why are you here? Just come here to lend a hand, right? I want to do whatever it takes to help out. I think we could use them in our vault. As long as you guys are on the level, I'll give this thing a try. Honest. I appreciate your candor. You can stay, but you're not what we're looking for. Go ahead and get acquainted with your new home. What a colorful gentleman. Clearly he won't work for our experiments. Here's hoping third time's a charm. It's not his fault. You have to look out for yourself out there, if you want to survive. I certainly trust your instincts on this. Mine are, shall we say, rusty from all the years of solitude. Next. Hello. Welcome to your new home. Wow. A real overseer. I, I am so happy to be here. Hi. My name is Clem. Uh, yes. Clem, is it? Before you settle in, I have some questions. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. I I'll answer anything you like. Well, uh, that's good. Here's a scenario. You've been assigned guard duty. You know, stand watch and make sure outsiders don't breach the perimeter. But from inside the vault, you hear a woman screaming. What would you do? You want me to guard something? Sure. Uh, I can do that. I can do that right now, if you want. But I don't hear any screaming, lady overseer. Well, aren't you just precious? I, uh, thanks. I think? Another question for you. What can you tell me about your mother? Oh, she passed. But she was nice. You would have liked her. She killed, she killed a mole rat once. Really? Uh, that's remarkable. Describe the traits you most admire about her. Well, she was strong because of the mole rat. And she, uh, uh, she, she fed me. God, I I'm sorry. Th this place is so much better than the ditch I was living in. Mole rat kill counts really are the foundation of maternal affection. I guess? Am I doing okay? We're looking for a volunteer, Clem. Someone to test some new devices that will help everyone. Are you interested? You mean I can stay? I, 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 I mean, yes! I'll help out. I like helping. That's me, Clem. Always willing to help out. Yes. <sighs> I think you'll do nicely. 
And no time like the present to commence. Now that we have, um, Clem, we are ready to begin. The first step is to get him properly equipped and dressed. There should be supplies in the welcome area near the entrance. Mm hmm Yep, that's right. They supply pit boys and vault suits. So, something interesting you guys probably already know. So, in the um, pre-orders or special edition orders for Fallout 4, you could get a special Fallout 4 case with a pit boy that could fit your actual phone in it. Basically, there was a whole entire app that you could hook up to your computer, and basically, without having to pause the game, you could access your in-game pit boy with your phone. Now, first things first. Clem, let's get you outfitted like a real vault dweller. First of all, I'm taking all your fucking money. Apparel. Let's see. Vault 88. Misk. Pit boy. There we go. I'm just so excited to be here. I'll do good. You'll see. Mm -hmm, I'm sure. I'm just so hungry all the time. Hey. Our first vault residence. What a moment. But on to business. Exercise is an inherently selfish activity. Instead of using every hour, every minute, to further the goals of the community, a resident instead improves their body past the minimum requirements. Vault Tech has devised a solution. The Power Cycle 1000. While you pedal, you provide raw power to the vault. Uh -huh. A perfect answer to an inherently counterproductive practice. But doesn't society benefit from healthy citizens? Overall, our research indicates it does not. True, some short-term medical costs are mitigated. But exercise leads to longevity, which extends how long the elderly drain the vault's resources. No, exercise overall is a societal ill we should and can cure. As a gym bro, I am offended. Your argument is wrong on so many levels. If you are so convinced exercise is good, then refine the power cycle to make it better. Moving on. The prototype is far from perfect. There were incidences during its R&D. Maybe even a stray cerebral hemorrhage. Uh, what? Overseer? Oh, Clem. Don't worry yourself. This model won't suffer from those defects. Oh, good. Well, probably. Let me download the schematic to your pip boy. Build it and attach a terminal to choose the parameters of the experiment. Work Clem hard. Give me power. Kind of creepy how you said that, but unfortunately, we're doing that in the next episode. Top of a lot of things, you know what? In the next episode, this vault is going to be completely changed. At least this area. As for now, have a good day now and goodbye.